All right there guys, so in this video I'm going to cover the Mo Salah is staying uh, article from David Ornstein at The Athletic. So let's just touch on a few points from it first before I start giving my opinion on it. So it says here that by David Ornstein that Liverpool fully expect Mohamed Salah to stay this summer and are planning on the basis of him being part of their squad for next season. The 31-year-old is approaching the final 12 months of his contract and there have been increased speculation that he will leave. But Salah has given no indication of wanting to exit, which mars with Liverpool's desire, and it is anticipated he will remain at Anfield. He's been continually linked with a move to Saudi. Um, but the view in the Saudi league is that Salah wishes to spend another campaign with Liverpool. While their interest has not gone away, it is less aggressive than it was when the the Saudi league was investing heavily in new signings last summer. If the forward does not extend his contract or commit elsewhere, the Saudi league might prefer to focus on Salah in 2025 when he'll be 33 and there'll be no transfer fee either. Um, and that's pretty much it. Obviously, it goes on about the, the heated exchange between Klopp and Salah as well. So that is basically that. Now, what I want to say on this matter is... Don't you think that this is a little bit funny timing, guys? And I know that some people think that I just see something there when there's not. But would we have seen this article today had Klopp and Salah not had that bust up on the side of the pitch on Saturday? I don't think we would have done. And there's a part of me, guys, that thinks this article is out there basically to make sure that everybody knows that Liverpool still want Salah to stay next year to help protect his valuation because if everyone starts thinking that oh that's it look at that relationship there is he wants out him it's got this is not going well then clubs are going to offer less money for him so if Liverpool put it out there as a front that you know we want to keep him we want to keep him around this season and that then they'll try and get as much value for him as possible now I'm not saying it's not a possibility that Salah doesn't stay next year I've always I've been saying it for a few months now I'm about 80 80% certain that he'll go. We're leaving that 20% you know, chance that he'll stay. Now, if Salah does stay and he doesn't sign the new contract, then is that good for us as a club? You know, he would join Bobby Firmino and, you know, Gini Wijnaldum just recently, just to name a few players that have left for nothing when we could have got 150 million for him last summer. Come on, guys. He either signs a new contract this summer or we need to get rid. And as, as much as a, a legend as he is and as much as a player I highly rate, you know, for Liverpool, his form has dipped lately. It has, even though he has all these goals that he scored this year. Come on, guys, we can't argue about the fact that, you know, there's been a few occasions that in, over the past month or so that Salah has cost us points. You know, he's cost us goals, uh, you know, so... I guess we'll have to just wait for Arnie Slot to come in and see what he wants to do. Um, will he have a say, actually, to be fair? Will it just be down to Mike Edwards and Richard Hughes? Will they just be like, you know, end of the day, we can take £100 million from him now or we let him stay and he goes for nothing? Yeah, it's one of them, innit? If, it, if, gun to my head, I'd be selling Salah this summer and there'd be possibly another one or two from that forward line that I'd sell this summer. I think Diaz is one that I'd be I'd be open to offers for him, you know I would be, and Diogo Jota as much as he's the best finisher at the club and as much as, you know we've missed him when he's not there, that's the point. He's never there. He's always injured. <laughs> so if you could get somebody in that's going to be fitter, then maybe that'll work out better for Jota. Maybe in fact Arne Slot might work out better for Jota. Maybe we've. A higher well, well, they're still expected to press in that, but Slot's known for keeping his players fit, so maybe that'll work out in Jota's favour. To be fair, so let's hold back on Jota, but I would definitely be open to offers for Diaz and uh, Mohamed Salah this summer, hundred percent. I think Nunes gets one more season. As much as most a lot of people have turned against him already, I get it, I really do, but I think he gets one more season, and then that's it with Nunes. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. Let me know in the comments what you think on this. Do you think that Salah stays? If he stays, does he sign a new contract or does he leave on a free at this time next year? Has he already agreed to move elsewhere by the time we're at this point next year, guys? Let me know down in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next one.